Well, what we're doing is all the microwave sites in North Dakota and South Dakota are getting new microwave radios and also the multiplex equipment. Um, some of these original buildings, like the one behind here, were installed originally in the, in the 1980s. And with the uh, new equipment that we're putting in, mobile radio equipment, uh, larger capacity microwave radios, the existing buildings were like 8 by 18 feet. Well, these new ones are going to be 13 by 24 feet. So this is the old building. Yeah, this is the old building. You can see how cramped it is in here. We've got the 48 volt batteries over here. Here we've got the microwave, microwave radios and the uh, uh, mobile radio equipment for the crews to communicate with. When we're doing the cutover, we got to have the old equipment in here and the new equipment so that we can have the system running while we're testing the new equipment. An extension cord. Have you seen that, Brian? Mm -hmm. From the portable generator. That from the portable generator into, into that. that building. So if we lost cooperative power okay. and our generator failed to start or we ran out of propane, we have a, another option. That's pretty slick. Cool. Well, sometime this fall, we'll start moving equipment into there. Actually, I heard um, Cummins is coming this week. Because we need commission generators, right? Yeah. And then, and then uh, 